Major Robert Gaylor was in command of VMF-224 at Guadalcanal. His gallantry and leadership earned him his nation's highest award, the Medal of Honor. Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we've got one here from Dragon Wings, of course, in 172nd scale diecast. It is the F4, F4 Wildcat from the United States Marine Corps, uh, from the Guadalcanal campaign in, of 1942, and this particular aircraft is from a VMF-224, the Fighting Bengals, and the VMF-224 were created in 1942, and they actually still remain active to this day, currently as VMF-A-224. Uh, they were flying the F-A-18 Hornets. Uh, VMF-224 contributed greatly to the US victory during the Guadalcanal campaign. Uh, this particular aircraft here was flown by Robert Gala, who enlisted in the Navy in 1936. He would end World War II with a total of 13 aerial victories. He would be awarded America's highest military medal, the Medal of Honor. And on the 24th of March, he was the Medal of Honor recipient in 1943 for his actions during the Guadalcanal campaign. Gala would retire from the Navy in 1957. He would pass away in 2005, aged 92. I picked this uh, this model up. We'll have a little look. We'll open it up. And it's just no real details, and just apart from the name in the flap there and then the aircraft in there. I picked this up on eBay secondhand, but it looks brand new in the box. I don't think it was opened. $40. So uh, I reckon that was a pretty good price, but no good looking at it in the box. Let's uh, get this Wildcat out and uh, have a real good look at it. So here it is out of the box. It does come with its standard dragon stand that you need to assemble if you want to use it. It also comes with a little baggie that does have some a little bit of ordnance and looks to be the uh, gear if you want uh, wheels up. And of course, a little bit of instructions to show you how to assemble the little bits and pieces that you want. And what we'll do is we'll quickly get this lid off the packet and we'll get, as you can see, it is brand new in there. You can see the propeller needs to be affixed and of course we've got to put that landing gear on, but we will we'll get this wildcat out and hopefully release it from the packet sorry about the uh, popping sound and there we have it it has a, a little bit of weight to it which isn't too bad i think it um it does look really nice it, look it is a dragon model so uh, i am looking forward to to this the dragon models that we have uh, sort of been reviewing every now and then they are very nice and this one you know the panel lines are really really nice that's that's quite good you can see all the rivets and everything like there you can see his aerial victories against the japanese there on the side we'll run down the fuselage there we'll have a little look do, do any of these move yeah oh wow the rudder moves and everything like that none of the the tail moves or anything like that though um does have a canopy that uh, does slide back as well and you can uh check inside that cockpit it is a little bit dark but it does have look at that detail in there it does have some pretty wicked detail in there and it's cool that you get to slide it back and forth we'll go to the front and have a little look at some uh some radial engine detail which there is a little bit not a great deal you can see all the gun ports and the wings as well which is really nice we'll swing along here and have a little look This is a really nice rendition of this aircraft for sure. It is well made. I think it's fantastic. So if you can get your hands on one of these, obviously with the Dragon Wings ones, you do need to uh, sort of source them out on the um, secondhand market if you do want to get one, because I do not think Dragon are making models anymore. And I think this one comes up a treat for sure. What we'll do is we'll flip this Wildcat over and have a little look underneath and see what kind of details we can see there. And the details are just as good underneath the aircraft as well. Oh, look at the detail in there. That's fantastic. For a 172nd scale aircraft, that has got a, a fair amount of detail. Yeah, I reckon that's pretty cool for sure. Hopefully it comes up uh, on the camera and you can see this. But I reckon, yeah, that's very tidy for sure. Oh, what we'll do, you know, you know what we need to do now. We'll uh, kit this Wildcat out and come right back in a second. All right, here we have Robert Gala's Wildcat all kitted out. Comes up fantastic. Um, no dramas whatsoever to fit it out. The tail wheel just drops straight in. Of course, all the ordnance drops straight in. The main landing gear, perfect. 
Um, those people that made that RAF uh, martlet that we did that review on, have a look at that landing gear. That's what you should be doing because that is a perfect representation of the uh, Wildcats landing gear and this will definitely hold this model's weight for sure. This is a really good rendition. It is spot on. Dragon Wings do a fantastic job, I have to, have to say. And uh, you just put that prop in the front. It's got some reasonable detail on there. It is a little bit stiff, but it's, it does move. So it does move, but it doesn't spin freely like you can't blow on it or anything like that. And I think this comes up fantastic. For 170 second scale, you know, it's got that little rudder movement on the back. It does have that little option to, uh, you know, slide the canopy open and closed if you want to have a look at the interior. And the actual, you know, all the panel lines and everything like that look really nice. The paint application itself is very good. And I think it, yeah, comes up awesome. It'll look great on your shelf. And uh, I reckon it'll look fantastic it, as it, you know, does sit on its, its, its own landing gear without any issue. And I think it, it is fantastic. Um, just chuck it on the stand. It's straightforward, of course. You just, you know, plonk it in that hole. And then job done. And she is ready to display on the stand on your shelf as well or in your cabinet. And uh, I reckon it is a pretty good looking unit. So once again, this is 172nd scale die cast by Dragon Wings. It is the F4 F4. Uh, Wildcat from the United States Marine Corps from the Guadalcanal campaign of 1942 and this particular one from VMF 224 the Fighting Bengals as piloted by Robert Gala who was a Medal of Honor recipient in 1943 and I reckon this does come up a treat and uh, hopefully you can get your hands on one and uh, if you do like it as much as I like it throw us a bit of a like if you can spare the time and if you have yet to subscribe to the channel of course feel free to do so and uh keep up to date with all the videos we'll be posting up of all different types of aircraft and stuff as per usual and as per usual i'll take some happy snaps of this wildcat and uh chuck them up at the conclusion of the video so you don't have to see it with my sausage fingers in the way and his sausage finger test it is you know not, not too bad but it is still a a small world war ii fighter and uh, i'll post those pictures up and you can uh, check it out in more detail once again thank you so much for uh spending your valuable time watching one of my videos i do appreciate it all right you all have a fantastic rest of your day Cheers, guys.